I'm just buying the materials for the uh, body cart that I'm going to make. We're over here at uh, ABC Steel Metal. Hi guys, welcome to Rancho Fury Garage. My name is Mario. Welcome to another episode. Uh, today, I'm just trial fitting the, uh, the floor, floor pan that I purchased. And uh, my plan is to build a body cart, full body cart, but with uh, casters and wheels so that I can mount it on the rotisserie that I have here that I made uh, back in 2009. Uh, you know, this was originally supposed to be used on the uh, 67 Camaro, but uh, that's been put on hold, so I'll be able to use this uh, rotisserie first uh, on the uh, on the Bronco, and then be able to turn the vehicle around, and at the same time be able to roll it in and out of the garage uh, once I get to the uh, primer and paint stage. So what I just found out was that uh, once I have the body onto the uh, cart body cart platform. I will not be able to rotate it while the garage door is open. Uh, I tried, you know, different scenarios, try to lower down the height of the body cart, but it still didn't work. So what I'm gonna have, end up doing is that just close the doors. But again, this is just to show that you really gotta take dimensions uh, when you do your body cart with your rotisserie, because uh, you do not wanna cut your welds. And redo your your the height uh, or or the uh, standoffs uh, from your body cart because uh, it, if you do that you're you're starting over again. Basically, I'm trying to get the measurements correct and right so that I only do this one time because I do not want to be grinding uh, welds. Let, let, let me show you what I have so far. Well, I I used the uh, the laser level along with the uh, the plum plum bob there to locate the mounting locations for the uh, bracket that I need to to weld onto the, uh, to the body cart. Three by two beams, uh, three sixteenths inch thick. And then I still have to locate exactly where I want uh, that positioned. And uh, I'll be using casters for those. It's going to be similar to what I have on my rotisserie right there. So, uh, same same thing right here on the uh, the front end there. Oh, the other thing I wanted to show you was uh, okay. So I got this body cart dimensions off of, uh, I believe it was classic, classicbroncos.com. Someone had already posted a, uh, a body cart that was built out of uh, wood. Uh, as you can see here, it's not going, going to be made out of wood. It's, it'll be a uh, uh, steel construction. I didn't want any deflection. Uh, from what I've read and from what I've seen on videos, uh, the wood, wooden platform is okay. But uh, I just wanted something that's more sturdy and uh, be able to support the body uh, without deflections as I, you know, put the weld and put the panels together. So I just want to make everything straight. So I just decided uh, to go with the uh, steel body cart slash rotisserie uh, assembly. Uh, here's a couple of, uh, I'm just kind of doing some rendering here of... Um, uh, what I need to do because I, I also plan on using a uh, threaded rod to be able to uh, adjust the casters on the uh, on the uh, body cart platform there so it'll give me it's gonna be really like this mounted over here but with a threaded rod uh, so that I can adjust the height 
just to make sure that you know, it is that the frame and um, well the frame and the truck is uh, uh, level level because I've already there is a uh, a slope on this uh, inside the garage about a quarter inch slope uh, so I want to be able to adjust for that uh, using the the uh, the threaded casters so that I can adjust the uh, the height uh, up and down correct for the uh, levelness it, it is a good thing that I I did this because uh, th there was a lot of a uh, lesson learned and you know I'd rather find that out right now than find out later when I have the jig all welded up so th this is great you know I'm getting the dimensions down I'm writing down notes and what I need to what I need to do to you know, you know to correct for the mistakes that I found but, uh, these beams uh, right it right exactly where I need it so so this is the uh, rearmost portion of the two bolts on the uh, on the bed here so something similar what I'm gonna be doing is you know, I'll be walling these uh, right angle channels. Okay, this is going to be the uh, the front of the vehicle. So on the uh, passenger side, so basically those are the uh, uh, I guess I'll, I'll call these standoffs. So these are the the two body mount locations, just right behind the seats. This is this right here is the uh, the the bed portion. Okay, so this X mark right here is actually the, you know, where it sits on top of the frame. There's a kind of like a standoff uh, on the frame rail, and it mounts uh, uh, to the, uh, the the body mounts right. It sits right on top of the uh, the, the frame rail. So what I did is I offsetted uh, the frame. Normally, it would be situated right here, right, where the X mark is. I, I offset it this way so that I can mount a uh, a right angle uh, channel right there and then this is going to be raised a little bit like this I still haven't determined the uh, the height that I need it to be and then I'm just going to weld a flat piece right here so and that's where the uh, the body mount uh, will sit on that flat piece. So the plan is to, uh, once I get the body cart completed, uh, to remove the the Bronco's body off the uh, the frame, and then set it on top of uh, on top of the uh, the jig here, uh, the body cart. I have a fishing line connected it up to that plumb bob, and I just uh, push the uh, fishing line through the hole there, kind of like centered it, and then marked it on the floor. The X, uh, I initially used the, uh, this laser level here. This tool right here, Hewitt Par, I got this from Amazon. Uh, it basically does the same thing. It's just, uh, it has horizontal and vertical laser level. And it also has a, uh, if you can see there, it has a uh, plumb dot on top and on the bottom. So uh, when I had the uh, the truck inside the garage, I, I what I did is I aimed that top uh, plumb dot there to the uh, body mount bolts, and then just uh, put in an X mark um, right there on the floor, uh, just to kind of get an idea of where the uh, body mounts land and then after that I I situated the uh, 
the two uh, three by twos. Again, I offset it, set it uh, outboard of the uh, frame rail so that uh, I can get the uh, the uh, measurements. Let's see here. Uh, 30, 30 and 3 sixteenths for the, uh, for the, uh, lateral supports in, in between the, uh, the beams. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little demonstration here. What I did is I, I measured the, uh, the height from the bottom floor, like where the rocker rocker panel bottom is up to the uh, height of uh, where the uh, the dashboard is and that measures roughly about 34 inches and initially I was gonna put in like standoffs here actually the the, the, the minimum height for the standoff that I need to put put on the uh, the body car is five inches uh, for the uh, the bed portion and so that's uh, that's 39 inches from the uh, from the rotisserie, so this th this level here measures roughly uh, okay, so seventy two inches. I measured the width of the Bronco; it's about uh, I'm looking at like seventy inches. So uh, two inches of play, which is perfect. So thirty four inches was the height the, of the Bronco uh, without the windshield. So I'm taking into account a five inch standoff. So that's going to be 39 inches. So 39 inches from the, uh, the very edge. Okay, so when I start to swing this, as if I were to put the, uh, the Bronco on its side, it'll start to hit the, uh, the garage door. So that's not gonna work. So the only way I can, the only way I can make that work is to, you know, when I start to do welds underneath the vehicle is to be, to close the garage door or roll out the, uh, the rotisserie uh, out of the garage and then do the welds out here. I thought I was going to cut out the floor pan off the Bronco and then put this in but I just decided uh, to postpone that and then work on the jig first. So, so that's all I did today. Just took measurements, um, worked it out with the rotisserie. Just want to make sure that it clears. And unfortunately, it doesn't clear. So, for, you know, for you guys who's, who's building a jig, a body cart, take measurements you know, so that it clears when you uh, when you turn the truck on its side with the rotisserie. So, again, it's, it's a good thing that I'm finding this out early then you know later on that's pretty much it guys you know again thanks for watching rancho fury garage and i'll see you guys on the next video take care